Mike. Okay, everybody, are we ready to start math? Yeah! Okay, I'm glad you are all so enthusiastic. Today we are going to talk about clocks and just go over some of the basic parts of a clock that will help us be better at telling the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with um, just the parts of the clock. What you are looking at right now, what is that called? Face. Good, it's the face of the clock. What's missing from this clock? Number, the, hands. the hands are missing because we do have the numbers of the clock. We see those, but the hands are missing. And so that's what we're going to start with as we're going to talk about the hands of a clock. Today we're going to talk about the hour hand and the minute hand. Who can tell me something they know about the hour hand or the minute hand? Jordan? The minute hand tells you the minute. Good. And what do you know about the hour hand? It tells you what hour it is. Okay, so the minute hand is talking about the minutes that are into an hour, and the hour hand shows us what actual hour we're on. I'm going to show you two hands here. And I want you to tell me which hand would be the hour hand. The red, the red one. Very good. I'm going to write our hand on mine. And then what would you know about the green one? It's the minute hand. It's the minute hand. I'm going to tell you a little trick about these hands. What do you notice about the word minute? Is it longer or shorter than the word hour? Longer. It's longer. And guess what? The minute hand is longer. What do you notice about the word hour? It's shorter. It's shorter. The hour hand is shorter. That's a good way to remind yourself which hand is which. The hour hand is shorter. The minute hand is longer. Okay? If I had the hands facing like that. What time would it be, everybody? Three o'clock! Very good, because the hour hand is pointing to the number? Three. three. Oh, what about the hour hand, everybody? Three. It's pointing to the three, and that's what tells us the hour. The minute hand is how many minutes it's past three o'clock. If it's pointing up to 12 and we say three o'clock, have any minutes passed yet? No. No, it's just the start of 3 o'clock. And every time that minute hand moves, that's going to be minutes past 3 o'clock. What time is it now? 3.05. Good, it's 3.05. Do you notice how there's a 5 off to the side of the clock on your paper? Yeah. That's to remind you that when the minute hand points to the one, it's five minutes after that hour. Every time the minute hand moves from one number to the next number, how many minutes go by? Five. Five. So once the minute hand moves to the two, how many minutes past the hour is it now? Ten. Write that on your paper. And what about when we move it to the three? Fifteen. Continue counting by fives and filling in your clock to show how we count the minutes around the face of a clock. When you get all the way up to the 12, what number do you have? 16. And so how many minutes are in an hour? 16. Great job, everybody.